today you are going to get a chance to come up with your own story problems for start, change, end boxes. Right now, what you are going to need is a piece of paper and you're going to need something to write with. Go get those materials and then come right back, first graders. All right, I have my piece of paper and Mrs. Faust always likes to have her name on her paper. So I'm gonna to go to the top of my paper and I'm going to write my name. Go ahead and do the same thing, first graders. Now, you're going to come up with two different story problems today. So I'm gonna take my piece of paper and I'm going to take the bottom and fold it up to the top. And then I'm going to make a crease mark. Make a prediction. When we open it, how many sections are we going to have? Yes, let's see. Two sections. All right, so we're gonna have problem one, problem two. Now, let's go ahead and set this up. Find your fold line. And on top of that fold line, we're going to draw your own line. That's where my number sentence is going to go. Go down to your bottom box, first graders, and draw a long line near the bottom of your paper. That's where your second number sentence is going to go. Now, here's the fun thing. You get to come up with your own story problem. It would be suggested to come up with one story problem where you add, and maybe one story problem where you subtract. That would be a challenge. So in this top one, I might add, and in my bottom story problem, I might subtract. Now, you can say the story problem out loud as you write. So I'm thinking of a candy that I like. I like M&Ms. I'm going to say that Mrs. Faust has 10 M&Ms, and I'm going to draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then I got to school, and Mrs. Turner had some M&Ms, and she gave me two more M&Ms. So I'm going to draw those two more over here. Now, let's think about those start, change, end boxes we've been doing. You might even want to draw them. Here's my start. I'm gonna move over and draw my end box. In the middle, I'm gonna just draw a line for my change. Do you remember what goes on top, first graders? An arrow. How did you get from your start box to your end box? Now I can fill them in. Mrs. Faust had 10 M&Ms. Mrs. Turner gave me two more M&Ms, so two more. How many M&Ms does Mrs. Faust have right now? Hmm, now I can write a number sentence also. I had 10. If I got two more, am I gonna add two or am I gonna subtract two? I'm gonna add two plus two equals. If I start at 10 and I count up by two, 10, 11, 12. Mrs. Faust would have 12 M&Ms. <gasps> Ooh, did someone see what I remembered to do? I added a unit here. So up here now we know we're going to have 12. Now, if you want to pause the video and go ahead and you have a chance to come up with your own story problem, you can do that. 
or you can do it after the whole video is over. It's your choice, first, first graders. Let me show you an example of a subtraction problem. What if I say, in Mrs. Faust's book basket, I had some books, and I'm going to have seven books. Here's my seven books. Then a friend came along, and I shared three books. Hmm. How am I going to show that with my picture that I no longer have three? I could mark them out. I gave these three books to a friend. I don't have them anymore. Now let's think of our start change in box. So I draw my box and my box for my end. I put a line in the middle because that's my change. And then an arrow. How does it change from the start to the end? Mrs. Faust had seven books. So I had seven in my book basket. Then a friend came along and I shared three. So what happened to those three? Now I have three less. Hmm. Let's think about how I'd write this as a number sentence. How many did I start with? Seven. Now, if I had three less, am I adding books to my book basket or am I taking books away? I'm taking them away. They're going to a friend. So it's minus three equals. Now we can figure that out. If I have seven and I take away three, seven, six, five, four. Now I have four books. Oh, did you see what Mrs. Faust added? All of the first grade teachers love to see your units. So we have four and down here four books. All right, first graders, you're going to come up with your own two story problems. Then when you get done, take a picture and turn it in below so your teacher can see all of the hard work you did. Good job, first graders.